In the news this week, fast-tracked regulations on marriage and abortion are criticised, NHS experts warn parents about letting their children change gender, and archaeologists uncover King David's city of refuge. Hello. Changes which will create a major cultural shift in Northern Ireland have been pushed through by Westminster in less than a week. Parliament's decision to impose same-sex marriage and abortion was challenged by some peers. We must make sure the religious liberties of the people of Northern Ireland are definitely protected, that there is no re room for ambiguity, and that it is not merely discretionary for the government to act. Furthermore, and we must make sure those protections are not less than the protections enjoyed for the citizens of other regions of the United Kingdom. Our civil and religious liberty was something that was fought for and people died for. And I do not believe that we should hand it away. Northern Ireland will become a rather more perilous place, particularly for pregnant young women whose husbands or families want them to have an abortion for whatever reasons, when they don't have the time, the space or the capacity for whatever reason to say no. The Christian Institute has warned that the rush to make the changes puts free speech and religious liberty at risk. A seismic cultural shift has been railroaded through in less than a week and it's been done without consultation or frankly consideration for the people of Northern Ireland and it leaves us in a situation where there could be far fewer protections for free speech and religious liberty there than in the rest of the UK. So for example in England and Wales there's clear provisions in the legislation to say that you're free to criticise same-sex marriage and that you can't force a church minister to perform a same-sex wedding and Scotland has similar protections. As it stands these are not extended to Northern Ireland. The government is proposing to allow married couples to swap their marriage for a civil partnership. The Supreme Court last year gave its support to heterosexual civil partnerships, and ministers are now considering how to implement its recommendations. They are proposing a conversion period, during which married couples may switch to a civil partnership. Equalities Minister Penny Mordaunt claimed there were all sorts of reasons a couple would prefer not to marry, and called the proposals a fantastic step but Institute Director Colin Hart disagreed. It's profoundly undermining to marriage that the government wants to give married couples the right to downgrade their marriage to a civil partnership. Experts at the NHS's only gender identity clinic for children have advised parents not to allow their children to socially transition at home and at school. Activist groups such as mermaids demand that children who question their gender should be affirmed from as early an age as possible, but senior psychologists advise caution. Dr Bernadette Wren said that while allowing a child to transition can appear to initially alleviate distress, it can cause greater problems down the line. We think that is setting up problems for later. There is no magic solution. Some families think the social transition means it is all going to be fine, but it is much more complicated. Separately, prosecuting lawyers have been urged not to use biologically correct pronouns and names for transgender victims, witnesses and defendants. The Christian Institute warned that new Crown Prosecution Service guidance encourages people to lie. A court of law is an arena for truth and justice. People should not be encouraged to make statements they know to be false, especially in a courtroom. And finally, archaeologists in Israel believe they have uncovered the ancient city of Ziklag, corroborating the Bible's historical record. In the book of 1 Samuel, David flees from King Saul and settles in the Philistine town of Ziklag until Saul's death. Dr Chris Sinkinson told the Christian Institute about the importance of the find. Only a few years ago, sceptical theologians were dismissing this period to the realm of myth, but with each passing season, more is emerging of this formative period in the life of Israel. Well, that's all for this week. For regular updates and information on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.